morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning Father. Father. It is good to have you with us this morning. On this Monday of Holy Week, we begin with our entrance and upon. Contend, O Lord, with my contenders. Fight those who fight me. Take up your buckler and shield. Arise in my defense, Lord, my mighty help. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, we take a moment to examine our conscience, asking God for forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, as a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, Pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have, Lord mercy. have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Lord is my help and 
my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King. You alone are compassionate with our faults. Praise to you.
of this aromatic oil on Jesus' feet. And the author wants us to understand the impact that that act had. He tells us the entire room was filled with the fragrance. And she knelt at his feet and wiped them with her hair. Well, Judas Iscariot took exception to this. He saw this as a tremendous waste. Why wasn't this sold? And the proceeds used to help the poor. John doesn't let that pass without a comment. And his comment is a dire one. Throughout John's Gospel, we can see where Judas Iscariot is not held in very high esteem. Here he tells us, he said that, not because he was concerned about the poor, but because he's the one who held the money back and used to steal from it. Now, is this a statement of fact, or is it a presupposition? We don't know. What we do know is that it doesn't paint a very positive image of Judas Iscariot. Coming back to our main theme here, and that is Mary. Jesus comments on her action. He says, leave her alone. What she has done has been done for my very that is to say, it's a uh, preparation for that day when, when he will be dead, which is, as we all know, not all that far from now. This beautiful scene that we find here in today's Gospel is to some extent marred by the comment of Judas Iscariot, and let's face it, the comment of John the Evangelist as well. And yet, that act of love does not go unnoticed. It has been marked for posterity. How many acts of love have we benefited from? People who have shown us a deep care and concern for who we are, for what we do. I think today we need to sit back and reread this beautiful passage and think of the acts of <coughs> kindness that have been done for us. Beginning from my youth, no doubt, oh, I could spend the next half hour at least just going over a few of my own memories of things that were done with tremendous kindness. Small acts, not necessarily big things, small acts. I remember once playing in the schoolyard. I was in kindergarten. The school was right across the street from our house. And it was recreation, and I was playing in the schoolyard with the rest of my friends, and my mother crossed the street, came over, and gave me a candy bar. Just a small gesture. But it's a small gesture that speaks volumes. Spoke volumes of the love that she had for me. Of that care that she had sort of enlightened my day How many such acts can you remember? During this terrible time that we are going through, as we have to deal, whether we like it or not, with this coronavirus, a virus that we know is continuing on upward, has us all afraid, worried, 
good time for us to just sit down and reflect on this beautiful passage and to think of ourselves, that is to say, to think of acts of kindness that have been done for us, and why not acts of kindness that we willingly and gladly did for others. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray. 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Father of all men. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what you have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred bear for us fruit in eternal life. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion, and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient fall is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the new form, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Have mercy on us all, we pray, 
that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. spirit. Let us share a sign of that peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. together the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that, under your protection, we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which, by your mercy, we have received through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our prayer to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go to proclaim the good news. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Do have a wonderful day. You too, Father. You too, Father.